Jean Zimmerman's music roots go as deep as those on her family tree. She was born to Howard and Victoria Scoggins in Marietta, Georgia. Her daddy was a versatile musician who played guitar, mandolin, and other instruments with the very first hillbilly band on WSB in Atlanta. Jean learned piano and guitar after graduating from Massey Business College and Patricia Stevens Modeling School. She sang in trios with bands in the Atlanta area. She married and had four children and turned her hand to writing. She wrote skits, scripts, and she began writing songs. Her brother-in-law had a theater, and it was there that she met Sam Wallace of RCA. She had recorded four of her songs on a custom session, and he encouraged her to go to Nashville. Through Mr. Wallace, she met Wally Cochran, my friend Dottie West, Chet Atkins, Danny Davis, and Jerry Reed, and many others. A single parent with four small children to raise, Jean took a job at CBS as secretary to epic promotion man Bill Williams. Jerry Reed published several of her songs and, was, and soon she was hired to manage the publishing company. Jean worked closely with fresh young writers building a catalog and secured over 230 cuts with major artists. She opened her own company called Sing Me Music. The door was always open to stars like Eddie Rabbit and even Stevens, who stopped by to play their latest demos for her. Jean became one of the first female producers in Nashville and learned her trade while working at Epic Records and doing demos for artist writers at her Sing Me record label. Jean's solid reputation for honesty and hard work within the music community spoke volumes about her as a person and industry leader. Publisher Connie Wolseley has a few words to share about Jean. Hi, I'm Connie Wolsey. I'm grateful to Source for inducting my auntie, Jean Zimmerman, into the Source Hall of Fame. Jean was always a go-getter, and even as a single mother with four kids, that didn't stop her from moving to Nashville to pursue her career in the music business. She forged her own way as an independent producer when females were not given those opportunities. She opened her own publishing company and had an open door policy to any aspiring songwriter who needed help or just a bit of encouragement to continue pursuing their dreams. She always had a big heart, a friendly smile, and a great ear for music and young talent. And she did that all while raising four wonderful children. Thank you, Source, for acknowledging Jean Zimmerman's work and inducting her into the Hall of Fame. We are honored tonight to induct Jean Zimmerman into the 2021 Source Hall of Fame. 